What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the uh, three-game suspension Brad Marchand picked up that will, you know, cause him to miss the uh, Winter Classic along with the next two games. Uh, and, you know, I said he, he would have gotten one or two. I'm fine with three. Um, you know, the thing going into this year was Marchand. You know, all during the preseason, really, he wanted to be a leader on this team. He wants to be a leader, a leader, a leader. Well, this isn't how you be a leader, Bradley. I'm sorry. You know, going out there and clipping someone is not how you be a leader of this team. Putting your team down, top six forward, when you're already down, you know, your team's best offensive player and relying a lot on some young, on a lot of young players, you know, whether it's Frankie Vitrano or Seth Griffith, you know, now and Alex and it's like, what the, what are you doing? You know, and um, I just think he, he's, he's got to be smarter. He's got to step up and, uh, you know, cut the shit. You know, the, I mean, I, I've gone past the point of Marshawn ever growing out of this phase. Like, we know what he is. We know he's going to do stupid shit. But it's like, you know, come on, dude, really? You, you're, what, five, six years in the league now? And you're still pulling these antics and, and you know, being a... And now, again, offensively, he's more valuable than ever. I think he's leading the team in goals. He is, 15. And, uh, you know, this is, you're out of the lineup for three games, including, you know, your team's marquee, you know, regular season game. It's like, you know, you, you got to stop being a freaking nitwit. But that's not going to happen. You know, he's always going to do his own little thing out there. And, you know, that's that's unfortunate. You know, the thing, I think, with Masha that, that fans of Boston have understood, you know, last couple years especially, is like, you got to take it with the bad. That's that simple. He, you know, you're going to have to take the, the stupid suspensions and untimely penalties and, you know, childish antics in exchange for, you know, the goals and, you know, beating up the Sedins and, you know, things of that nature. So, again, I know it's true with the suspension. I think the league got it right. I might have been going too low on it uh, with the one or two. Uh, but, again, you know, and, again, I think the, the funniest thing was that wasn't the worst thing that happened to Mark Rebecca that night. You know, Zidane Ochoa ragged all of was kind of embarrassing, but... You know, hits like that have no no place in the game. And, you know, I, as much as I fault the on-ice officials for um, missing the call, I mean, the, the play was going up ice. But we'll see what happens. I mean, again, just a, uh, you know, a tough situation for the, Bruin, for the shorthanded Bruins to be, uh, be in even more so. But we'll see what happens. As I sound like a broken record for being that. I think Alex Hanna-Cogel will fill in pretty well, though, for that's right. Anyway, this is going to be the call up. He does it. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.